guys, recently in university we've had a lot of open days now for medical science applicants. So there's been a lot of interview days and it's been amazing getting to meet all the people that, you know, want to do medical science and want to go be doctors and learning about, you know, what inspires them, things that inspire them and it's been really interesting and just a great experience all around. There are many different types of interviews, so you can have just your normal traditional panel interview, it may be a one-on-one -on -one interview, you know, or maybe two lecturers and you. So for medical science, you usually have two lecturers and then you'll go in, you'll speak to them and there's a few certain things that will really help you in your interview. So first of all, dress smart. Don't come in attacks, as I've seen people do. For my interview, I wore just a simple black dress, tights, pumps, you know, and I had a, a blazer on with it. Guys, it's really easy. You can, just, you can just put like a shirt and trousers on. It's so annoying being a girl. It's so much easier being a guy in interviews or anything smart. When you arrive, make sure you're always polite. Make sure you are polite. I can't stress that enough. Always say your pleases, your thank yous. It gives a very good impression. When you were called for your interview, shake their hand. Always, always say, hi, I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you. Lovely. You've introduced yourself. Have all your documents you need with you. Also, as you may notice, I have a lip piercing and I have various others in my ear. We take them out. Don't, don't worry about taking them all out, but like, for example, this big bar I took out, I took my lip bar out. I wore my hair down to cover my neck bar, which if anyone from medical school is looking, I don't have any piercings. No. You know, you just want to look presentable, you want to look smart. Facial piercings don't always give that away, although you don't discriminate. It just makes you look a bit smarter, that's all. During that day, if you're offered to go have a talk with anyone, for example, we do a clinical skills workshop, and if you get offered a place, don't go, nah, not today, I'll come and have a look another time. No, you go. If they offer you to go to a workshop, a seminar, a anything, you go. It looks really good. It looks like you're actually interested in the course. But before going, there's a few things you need to know. This goes for anything, really. You need to know about the university and the course, because you will always be asked, why this university? Why this course? It's a standard question. You need to have a perfect answer for why. If you're going for something like medicine or medical science, you need to know why Why medicine? What's current in medicine right now? What's in the news? What's, what research is currently being undertaken in the medical industry? What makes it interesting? You need to have knowledge about the area that you want to work in. Ethics can usually make up quite a big part of any interview as well. You may be asked an ethical dilemma. In my med site interview three, four years ago, I was asked, you had a lung transplant with two patients, one who smoked and one who was a non-smoker. Who should get the lungs? Now I know a lot of people here are probably thinking, the non-smoker, obviously. <coughs> no. You cannot put another life over another life. Just because that person smokes, that person could be drinking constantly. That person could have a, a genetic predisposal to having lung cancer. That person may have a higher chance of rejection. You can't just base it fully along with smoking. We can't discriminate. You can never say that one person's life is more important than another person's life. You can't say it. So, what are you meant to do in this situation? You're meant to balance an argument. So, you see both sides of the argument. So you can see, for example, okay, he smokes, but other than that, he's relatively fit, healthy, has a low chance of rejection, okay? Whereas we have this person who doesn't smoke, heavy, maybe a heavy drinker, has a greater chance of rejection. So in that case, you may end up going with a smoker. But always make sure you balance it and give reason. As long as you can back up why you're saying it, you can't really go wrong. It's your opinion at the end of the day. They're asking for yours. Also, you'll learn all your ethics as you go along. As an 18-year-old or 20-year-old in my case, we come to universities to learn these things, but it's a good indicator of, you know, your personal stances. Always make sure you know the requirements of the course. How will you be tested? A golden one they love to find out about med science. Well, what if you don't go into medicine? Not everyone gets into medicine. Some people choose not to. So what would you do? Have you got a plan in place? Would you apply again? You know, there's so many different things I'm gonna ask you. Best thing to do is do research. Again, go on YouTube, watch my videos. Make sure you go fully prepared for as much as you can do. Look up medical questions, look up current events. They're the main things that people are gonna wanna know. But also, above anything, you're gonna work hard. You're gonna study. You want to be here. You want to be a productive member of the degree. And you are someone that can make the university proud of. You can be that person that the lecturers turn around and say, do you know what, you deserve a chance, I'm going to give you that chance. When somebody says that to you, it is the most amazing feeling in the world, just knowing that you have people who believe in your capabilities. I know it was a, it was a great moment for me this year when a lecturer turned around and said, do you know what, you, you got to be a doctor. It, it's, it's, the, it's the best thing in the world when you have people who believe in you, but they, they do that because I work hard. 
I went in and I said, look, I want to be a doctor. I work hard. I study hard. Give me a chance and I will show you. And you know what? I showed him. So now it's your turn to do the same. And you can do it. If you have any questions, let me know. Go in there. Be confident. It's all fine being shy. A lot of people are. We had one recently who was very, very shy. And we were like, oh, is she going to talk in the interview? Do you know what? She smashed that interview. You know, just be confident. Be comfortable. You got this. It's why you're here. If they didn't think you were good enough, they wouldn't have given you an interview. So good luck. And to any future med size out there, it's a brilliant course. You're going to absolutely love it. I actually have my med sci hoodie on right now. It's got medical science on the back. Woo. I am going to now finish writing my dissertation because I have a meeting tomorrow. So it's going to be a late one for me, guys. But enjoy.